Hi guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. We just got the rail part. I did some uh, outfit recustomization stuff on the outfits that I don't actually use. Um, so we are going to go turn in our rail gun part, which allows us to customize our spear. Goat, where are you? Badger! Got him. I need that. Wait, can I do... Is it something for carrying capacity with that? No, I need a rat bone. I need an owl bone. And I need a goose skin. Owls. Where are you, Mr. Owl? Owl. I want to shoot you from a tree. What is that thing? That's a destroyed watcher. Never mind. What? Were you in there? Were you in a tree? Dang it. We're not going to be able to get an owl for a bit. Alright, where are you? Hi, you're over here. Hello, I brought you your railgun part. Hush, hush. A shaman secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending. And, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Works for me. That does work for me. All right. Let's craft, modify... Wow, two slots. Okay. Uh, plus on the damage. All right. Well, boom. There we go. More damage. As well get started improving my there we go. We have increased our spear stuff. Now, what do we got for quest type thingies that we can do? Let's see. Pigment, animal figurine, and pigment. Kind of want to do those. First spear modification trophy. Attach a spear modification to your spear. That's literally it. Alrighty, so we can collect the last of the rare collectibles, which will be good. Um, you can now upgrade your spear, which I just did, so we don't need to worry about that, thankfully. Um, but that, that means we're going to be able to do a lot more damage with our uh, critical hits and our attack from above and all that, so that will be good. Now we can get the last animal figurine, the last two pigments that gets rid of the rare collectibles. Um, I should have probably bought the last weapon, which would have been nice. Although I'm sure we're gonna find a uh, find a guy somewhere. Now I don't know if I don't know if there's gonna be like a modification that will like allow us to override faster because it is connected to our spear it might oh uh, yay tramplers what that oh because I'm right next to the uh, I accidentally press square because I wanted to crouch I don't I don't care I don't get me out of here you, you guys take too long okay a secret shared all right, so there goes the. Uh, so we got five grand for that. So that actually gets us a level up. All right, I just really wanted to get away from there. So where do we need to go? We need to go over here. I haven't been to that. So I'm kind of curious as to who's over here. Level fifty-five. That's pretty nice. Uh, oh, and we can actually get the last thing here, which is increase the health and the repair speed. Boom. All right, we're just going to not even going to bother fighting those tramplers. Now, is that all of the... Uh, that should be all of the skills. It is. We got all of the skills, and... There should have been a trophy for that, to my understanding.
My PS4 is being a little slow. Oh, there we go. All frozen wild skills. That's all that I needed. Thank you. Ooh. I forget what war feels like out here. All right. So we're going to have a pigment coming up here somewhere. Oh, that's a watcher. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Let's do this. Are you demonic? You are. Damn it. Oh, well. Okay, let's hide for a minute. Ooh, okay. Well, there's the pigment over there. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, God, what is this? Oh, not good. Not good at all. So let's go with... Ooh, you're strong. Nope. I said I wanted this. Alright. Ow. Here, take... Take these. Ow. There we go. I need to get I need to kill you. You are you're a bit annoying. Oh, there we go. Oh. That was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. All right. Can't hit me with your sonic burst. There. Oh. Damn scorcher. Jesus. Those things are rough. Now, where is my pigment thing that I need to search for? We'll grab that, though. My guess is over here. There it is. Alright, Dark Salt, not what I want. I want the map, though, because I want to go to this guy. See what this guy's deal is. It's next to a house. House-looking thing. There might be a, uh... There might be something in here that I can search for. Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. You never even felt the cold, did you? If he hadn't preserved you, would anyone even know you'd disappeared? Oh! This is gonna be the guy that wants our uh, animal figurines. <gasps> There's the other one. It's uh, it's a big bear. Okay, so one, one, two, three. Okay, so he already has one of them. And so he's looking for the other six. I'd have to leave something else behind. Well, first we got, you know, text document stuff. Our final two weeks. All staff from Marnie Jeff Fords addressing the rumors. Some of you have overheard the portions of the, let's call them spirited conversations I've been having with the charming Mr. Blevins in my office over the past week. So let's address the honking big elephant we crammed into this room with. The park has been acquired by something called Firebreak and they're restricting access to authorized personnel. I wish I had more details to share, but those are literally the only ones I've been given. Upshot, this isn't a national park anymore. No visitors means no visitor center. We've got two weeks. I know this isn't easy. If you're like me, the place represents something bigger and more important than a paycheck. Believe me, I am right there with you. When I say that this park is the most beautiful place in America, it's not PR and it's not hype. It breaks my heart that this to think that nobody will be around to applaud Old Faithful or stare into the beauty pool. But this is where we find ourselves. I realize there's a temptation to check out and give up, but I really, really need your help over the next two weeks. Tours will continue through Friday, so I'm going to need guides. And even though regular ops as gift shop are suspended, we've got a ton of surplus merch to box up and ship back to manufacturers, including about a bazillion unsewed Monrec hollow figurines. Yes, Monrec wants everything but the display figs back. No, I can't imagine why either. Please, you guys, just give me two more weeks of your time. I can't shut this place down alone. 
best Marnie. Oh, well, why would... Firebreak, you're mean. This place looks... Would have been awesome had it been in actual time. Never actually been to Yellowstone National Park. Visitor centers a bust. I'm recording the strategic and operational value at roughly 0 point squat. No reason we shouldn't pack the staff onto a vert and send them back to Nowheresville as soon as the gates are locked. Enjoy your basic income, ding-dongs. Ah. <sighs> All right, so now we have a now we have a fast travel point for this guy. Let's go talk to this guy because I'm curious as to why he wants the uh, the figurines. I hate to interrupt. Oh, I yes, <laughs> hello. I well, an outlander at the shrine of forgotten beasts. Welcome. I'm Enjuk. Uh, Aloy. The shrine of what? When the old world still breathed. A great man built a tiny totem to this beast and stored the visage inside. When the totem is placed on the pedestal, the animal is painted onto the empty air and the beast lives again. Well, almost. There are seven pedestals. Where are the other six figurines? I found this one in the wilds, remembered the indentations in the pedestals here and saw how they matched the base of the totem. But as you say, it's one of seven, isn't it? Oh, the great Montana recreations must have made more, but time has scattered them. So these totems, the images they show are of animals that no longer exist. They're gone, like the old ones. Uh, so it seems. <laughs> to think such magnificent creatures are lost to us, that never even knew they were here. We rely as much on beasts as we do on machines. For food, for warmth, but do we study them with the same fervor? Yeah, I do. For example, I have this theory about foxes. Why do foxes have red fur? <laughs> Think about what they eat. Meat? Raw meat. Bloody meat. See? Natural causation. Logical connections. It only makes sense. You've thought a lot more about foxes than I have. I found some of those animal figurines you like. Oh, we're gonna not do that just yet. You said a great man made these figurines? Indeed. He was, I believe, a student of the natural world. Like me. But surpassing my abilities a thousand times over. The great Montana recreations. Perhaps the finest natural scholar the old world ever produced. His voice claims responsibility for the totems, the vessels for the knowledge he accumulated. I share his desire to understand the beasts, to catalog their behaviors and preserve their images. I like to flatter myself that I'm an apprentice of sorts, carrying on his work. Someday, perhaps, if I am persistent, I can earn his name, Enjuk Recreations. I should get going. Of course, of course. I've taken up so much of your time already. But I don't suppose you could keep an eye out for more figurines? If I run across any, I'll bring them your way. All right, so Enjuk wants the figurines, which is nice. I actually like that. Let's go get this last figurine and then come back here. Oh, we're going to have to deal with the tower too, aren't we? Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the hell we have to deal with. If not, I'm just going to run across it. Oh, there's a... Oh! Hello. It's Old Faithful. I don't, I don't think I want to stand there for when that happens. Oh, yay, house. Ooh, and another house, too. Okay. Yep, there goes my thing. That is completely fine. I don't care. I'm currently just wanting to get into here. Oh my gosh, what are you? Oh, you're the control tower. Oh, you're gonna be easy to destroy then.
I missed. Yep, that's fine. There we go. Alright, control post destroyed. What are you? Alright, demonic scrapper is not going to be hard. There. There goes that. Oh, but a demonic stalker will be. Alright, nice. Got some components removed. Hey, how about uh, you take some damage? Yeah, my... Alright, that was pretty easy. Ow. Hey, could you uh, die? Thank you. I missed. Alright. Uh, do I have one more enemy? I do. Somewhere. Oh, great. There he is. Alright, come here. Ow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, there we go. I'll take those. Alright, so now that we've destroyed the uh, thing, we no longer need to worry about uh, any enemies, it seems. Let's go over here, grab this. Okay. I don't know where... What is that? Badger. Don't care about that. I care about finding the animal figurine. Which we are in the middle of the circle. Um, hmm. I don't know. This is going to be hard to try and find. Oh, it's over here, huh? Nope. That is just a dead machine. What's that? Supply crate? That's not going to have it. There it is. Hello, buddy. Alright, so we can actually go back to... What's his face? Alright, and we got an animal figurine. Uh, collectibles. And it's a moose. Okay. So let's go back to him. All animal figurines found. Nice. We're going to make this one a little bit longer. All because I want to end up doing the trading. Alright, and we only need like one more pigment too. And then we can go do uh, the pigment quest. I can't care to talk about these figurines of yours. They're not really mine, but... I've always got time to talk about them. There you go, Enjuk. That should be the last of the figurines. Alright. So we're able to get all of these. Collectible figurine boxes. There we go. By the blue light, I didn't know if I'd ever see the whole collection reunited. And look at them. They're beautiful. You've done a great thing, Aloy. These may represent the last record that any of these beasts ever lived. Take this. It's the least I can do. And come back any time. I and our animal friends await your return. That's all for now. Until next time, then. All right, let's see here. Can we, like, press on these buttons? We can. Ursus Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. 
Brought to you by Montana Recreations. How would you like to find yourself cornered by that thing? I suspect I'd like it very much indeed. What a beautiful beast you were. All right. Now what do we got here? Puma Concalor, the fearsome cougar. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. It's coat of sand color. Could it have been a burrowing animal? Perhaps those teeth were only used for digging. <laughs> yep, a puma was digging. All right, what is this one? This is the ox. Bison, bison, bison. That's the actual Latin name of the regal American bison. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Latin? Perhaps that's some sort of old world custom in which one repeats the name of a particularly revered animal. Maybe. Okay, what do we got here? Ursus Arctos. <laughs> the menacing grizzly bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Those claws look like they could rip someone in half. Perhaps in its youth, but you heard Montana Recreations. He said it's grizzled. Old. Its hunting days are behind it. I can't call him an idiot because he doesn't actually like know what happened. Okay, what do we got here? The deer? Odocolius virginianus. The majestic mule deer. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Not built like a predator, but perhaps it needed those horns to take down its prey in the absence of sharp fangs. All right, Mr. Wolfie. Canis lupus. The enigmatic gray wolf. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Could it be that these wolves and our foxes are the same somehow? Perhaps after hundreds of winters. No. No, that's ridiculous. Yeah, just a bit ridiculous. Alsus, Alsus. The noble moose. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. The horns grow like trees. Of course, this moose used those bizarre growths to blend in with its forest home. That one could make sense, because I actually know nothing about animals. So, alrighty, um, let's open up our treasure boxes. Ooh, 14% spear coil, but I think I already had that, so. Ooh, we got blue gleam, a smooth ancient charm, and a spear damage coil out of that one. Blue Gleam Badger Bone and some Metal Burn. Squirrel Bone and Blue Gleam. A Hidebound Weapon Coil. Ooh. Blue Gleam Ancient Sculptor and an Owl Bone. Blue Gleam Knotted Ancient Charm and a Spear Modification. Can I modify my spear with... I cannot. Okay, well, all of those spear ones are actually pretty worthless. Let me see. How do I get to use one of those hide ones? That's my question. Oh, here we go. Ooh. All right, so hunter bone would hunter bow seems like it, that's the one. So that's a war bow. Can't really do anything with that one. But that's the striker bow. There we go. All right, 53 handling, 37 damage tear, 44 fire. Shock and freeze, so that should go on the other one. Once I... F it should go on here. But it's not able to, so maybe... This one? No, it doesn't go on these. But that's such a shame! Because, I mean, oh. I mean, cool. I get to add damage, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna be worth it. So there we go. We got all of the animal figurines. We're only one uh, pigment away from being able to uh, finish that one. And those are all right here too, which is nice. Banuke goods. So I could end up buying a uh, buying a Banuke weapon there. So that might be what we're gonna end up doing: is collecting these through Blue Gleam, get the pigment buy a Banuke weapon, and then return the pigments over here? Yeah. 
And then we can go right into uh, the next portion of the quest. That would make, that would be fine. I'd be okay with that. Ancient sculptor. Hmm. Oh wait, can I do any new carrying capacities? I can. Thank you for the owl bone. And boom, there we go. We have the forge fire completely all the way up. Goose skin and rat bone. Alrighty, well. When uh, we come back, we have more of Horizon Zero Dawn to do. We are 44.47% through the game. It bothers me that's not a 44.44. So when we come back, guys, more Horizon Zero Dawn where we're going to get the last pigment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.